I think, you know, body positivity or fat positivity even, it doesn't really mean that every day you're walking around like, you know, flipping your hair and looking amazing and feeling great because none of nobody does that. We all have <laughs> I love that. Like we, we all have thanks, our thanks media. Thanks media. We all have our really terrible days. But I think, I think what we've done a little bit in the fat positivity movement or size acceptance movement, all these terms are kind of. I'm just going to throw them all out because I just I think they're all valid. Um, is kind of it helped me to start seeing more women who looked like me because that helped me realize okay because I, I actually didn't have still don't have a lot of plus size friends. I just don't. Um, but everybody approaches it from a different way. I mean, even there are probably people who would get mad that I'm just, I just said plus size rather than fat. I use whatever term I want to. I, I actually wanted to ask you what, why, yeah. why, why do these terms even exist? And it, it, it's weird. You know, some people, there is a big push to not use obese because of its origins and because it was Health. kind of based around BMI and like yeah. things that we know are kind of suspect. But, you know, then I've also gotten into these discussions with other advocates about fat and said, some people believe everybody should say fat. We're not doing plus size or curvy or fluffy. Those are euphemisms. Well, okay, but we need to unpack that <laughs> fat is a very traumatic word. And it took me a long time to, we want to reclaim it. And I, I understand that, but you can't just tell somebody to go reclaim it. They have to be ready to. So I don't fight with anybody who doesn't want to say fat and wants to say plus. Um, I, 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 I use plus pretty frequently.